that's it. They're racing. Continent missed it on the near side. Dominica, one of the first away, right up there to his firebolt, which is the Hong Kong runner, Olivia Grace, showing pace. And Schwarzier for Australia is up sharing the early lead. Wonders Dream is alone right over on the far side, and Oasis Dream just uh, slots in behind them from Lady Dominatrix and further back then Dominica, the near side. But in Castle is back in the field from acclamation as they sort themselves out from Sadat. But Schwarzier, the Australian sprinter, going like the wind out in front for Johnny Murphy. Please by a length and a half here to in second Dominica wider out then battling on is Oasis Dream followed then by Elusive City a furlong and a half left to go Schwarzier though on the stands rail is two in front Oasis Dream trying hard to pick him up they're making no impression at the moment followed then by Dominica Schwarzier Johnny Murder three in front the Aussie's going to do it Schwarzier coming home to win the King Stand what a famous victory Schwarzier wins it acclamation second Racing in the Golden Jubilee. Airwave lost a length or so on the rider picture in the red cap, but nothing uh, too dramatic. And one of the first away is more luck on the near side from right up there in the white cap. Three points and over on the far side, the Australian sprinter Schwarzier is there. Just in behind them as they settle is Kalud and further back in the field then fire break. They've split into two groups but not much between them. And it's Schwarzier the far side, three points the near side with more luck and behind them battling on is Kalud. Continents up there as well from Twilight Blues and then Bell de Jour right over on the far side. Zipping in behind horses Orientor, airway with the red cap is behind them on the near side held up for a run now and now getting the run on the inside as Melhope comes away from the fence they've got inside the two furlongs now and Schwarzier has crossed over to take it up for Australia Schwarzier has gone two or three in front now Airwave is giving chase followed further back by Melhope and then zipping Schwarzier shortening stride with 100 yards left to go Airwave coming at him Schwarzier on the rail it's Airwave the far side but the Aussie's going to do it again and they're racing away to a pretty fair start as well out of the center Mossvale began okay Lazark is up there as well Godfrey Street over on the far side and going pretty fast early uh, to be up there Tabaret on the near side with fire up the band is going fast as they sort themselves out and resplendent glory is not that far away splitting into two groups here and takeover target joins them on the far side here to go up to with fire up the band and Tabaret just behind them in the early stages that's down express followed further back in the field then by fire up the band and glamour Puss is just behind them from Ben Bourne far side it's dandy man clear here of tax flea like Kukaracha Celtic mill behind them from the tattling corridor creeper on the near side takeover target takes it up now from Lazar takeover target near side being swapped now Ben Bourne flashing home dandy man the far side they hit it takeover target in a photo they're racing Good even dispatch to on the near side, Dandy Man, one of the first away, takeover target in the centre, going fast, Morehouse Lad over on the far side in company with Desert Lord, they're blazing a trail over there, Magnus takes a set just in behind them, they're stretched right across the track here, and more of them are grouping up over on the far side, Desert Lord leads on the near side, Morehouse Lad, they're a couple of lengths clear of Magnus, who's right up there with Dazed and Amazed, just behind them too is takeover target, Dandy Man on the near side, coming up there alone or just with one behind him and the rest are grouping up out of the centre racing up now with a furlong and a half left to go anybody's race here Magnus has now struck the front for Damien Oliver Miss Andretti going with him Miss Andretti and Magnus settle down to fight it out the two Alzies and now take over target Dandy Man is finishing fast as well Miss Andretti's digging deeper and Miss Andretti she's a champion she goes on to win the King Stand second on the near side Dandy Man the second race on the day is the King Stand there racing. Let's go for commentary. A little bit slow to get going. Fast out for South Africa. Mythical flight. Amur Proper is showing speed. And down the center is uh, Bordler Scott. Equiano in the headgear. The white jacket away to the left. Revo World. The leaders are chased by Tax Free. And then Dandy Man away to the left in the Royal Blue of Godolphin. Uh, further back on the near side is Fleeting Spirit racing alongside Ho 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 and Angle Zark. Towards the rear, Cannonball is completely outpaced. The Australian Raider Scenic Blast on the far 
side, Yellow Cat, White Face, he's going very well at the moment as they run down inside the final quarter mile. Equiano, Borderless Scott, near side, Fleeting Spirit from Amur proper here, Scenic Blast now charging at them and charges into the lead entering the final furlong is Scenic Blast by two and a half lengths, Captain Gerard finishing well, Fleeting Spirit on the near side is rallying well but it's going to go to Australia again and Scenic Blast wins the King Stand. That's it, the 24 runners are set for the Golden Jubilee, now they're off and running and one of, away to a good start and prime uh, defender out of the centre, one of the first away on the near side though it's Star Spangled Banner going fast early, Kinsale King is up there as well on the near side, so too is Saif, just dropping in behind them is Joy and Fun, they're followed next in the field then by Showcasing, further back in the field then is Happy Zero who tacks in that group as well, they're followed by Regal Parade and Fravashi and Sir Jerry behind them, Marchand Dora is smothered up, so too is Society Rock and Balthazar's gift the far side as uh, they come up towards halfway and there's not much between the two sides here uh, over on the far side here as uh, we see Prime Defender in company with Alverta, also Lord Shanakil and then Varanar trying to get into it, just behind them is War Artist and battling on his fleeting spirit now going between horses, there's not much between the two sides as they race up now with a furlong and a half to go near side is Star Spangled Banner and Kinsale King from Society Rock further back in the field of Mingo Fritz running a big race, far side Fleeting Spirit got to the lead from Prime Defender, near side is Star Spangled Banner, far side is Fleeting Spirit, Star Spangled Banner, near side Star Spangled Banner has won it from uh, Society Rock and Fleeting Spirit, very tight. They're racing in the Golden Jubilee and Black Caviar's got away to a good start, Society Rock began badly, Soul is going to be the early leader. Out in the centre, Black Caviar travelling on the near side, getting a lead from Bogart. Out in the centre, Jimmy Styles, followed by Escalave. And further back then is Restia Dajon. Moonlight Cloud takes up a position in the middle of the field from the checker. Pastoral Player is further back in the field. They're followed then by Krypton Factor. Red Rock is out the back and company with Jenky. Then Serious Prospect, who's uh, at the tail of the field. As they race up now towards halfway, and Sol the leader from Bogart. And now Black Caviar ambling up on the near side in third. They're a length to Escalade, followed by Krypton Factor and Jimmy Stars and Restia Dajon, and further back is Jenky, but as they come up now onto the course proper, two furlongs left to go. Soul is the leader. Now Nolan starts to shake the reins at Black Caviar. She starts to move up on the near side. She draws level now with a furlong left to go. Now he says go on the mare. She gets about a half length in front of Soul. Restia Dajon, Moonlight Cloud coming home fast, but it's Black Caviar in front with a hundred yards left to go, here's Restia Dajon and Moonlight Cloud, he eases up near the line, here's Moonlight Cloud, it's tight! for Adam Kirby on Harry Angel and he's missed the kick badly Harry Angel upset in the gate and has surely lost all chance out very fast like a bullet from a gun is bound for nowhere who's clear on the far side from Red Kirk Warrior Spirit of Valor burning down the near side of the field chased hard by Merchant Navy and they're followed by Dubai further back and on terms is Intelligence Cross as well right alongside Spirit of Valor leaving bound for nowhere rather isolated now out in the centre of the track chasing the leaders his projection in the white jacket the tin man and then on the left in a white cab is Dubai Harry Angel is trying to make up the ground they're followed by City Light for Francis the dance lot and the grey Labrisa breeze at the tail of the field bound for nowhere now edging left handed and joins the rest of the field but he's hanging badly alongside Spirit of Valor in the white cap Merchant Navy tries to come on they're followed by projection Dubai then City Light Red Kirk Warrior can't do it then the tin man and the dance lot they're inside the final Final furlong bound for nowhere is hanging into Merchant Navy, but Merchant Navy beginning to get up. City Light with a late run for France. Merchant Navy on the near side of City Light. They race up towards the line. Merchant Navy, City Light, City Light on the far side, mate, just have got it.